What's going on everybody? Welcome to Texas Hana channel. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. In today's video, I will be taking the valve springs and retainers, the stock ones out of this cylinder head while keeping the head attached to the block. Uh, this is the easiest method I know of to removing the valve springs and retainers and replacing them with the head still on the car. Now this method only works a couple ways. Um, we could put string down the spark plug tube, take the spark plug out, fill up the cylinder with some string or rope, and then put it at top dead center, and that will hold the valves in place, or we can use compressed air. Compressed air method will use a compression tester, just a standard one will work. Um, you take this and screw it where the spark plug goes, so whichever cylinder you're working on, there's four valves um, on this particular engine. So there'll be two on intake, two on exhaust. You wanna have that entire cylinder pressurized and at top dead center. So we'll screw that in. And then on this end, oh, and on this end, there's a Schrader valve. We'll remove with a valve core removal tool. You can get those at tire shops or O'Reilly's or AutoZone. You'll remove that out and that will allow the air to pressurize the cylinder. Now I'll be running the pressure at about 30 PSI in cylinder one, two, three, and four. Um, so I'll have the regulator on the compressor, which is outside the garage, turned up to 30 PSI, and that will constantly flow 30 PSI in. Now the reason we're actually replacing the valve springs and retainers is these are upgraded ones for the race cam, and I have to put these in in order to put the Speed Factory camshaft in, which will be the next video after this one, so definitely stay tuned. Um, and we'll be removing the valve springs and retainers with one of these two tools. I'll most likely use this one, but we're gonna try it with this one first. I know we have to modify these a little bit to use it on this particular cylinder head, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the cam out and remove the rocker assembly and all that good stuff so we have access to it all. So sit tight and enjoy the video. Real quick, I wanted to show you um, how to put the keepers in here. You're going to want to compress this and put the keepers in before installing it. Um, you can see how these are kind of tapered downward. Basically what you'll do is you'll put one keeper in like that, the other keeper in like that, and then you'll compress this. Now be very careful, these are very easy to lose. Um, once you compress it, It'll go over the valve stem, and then you'll have to kind of keep those there, and then pull it up, and then release the tension. That way they don't fly off. If you lose these, you got to get some from another head or something. But I just wanted to show you that before we get started. 
Here's the difference between the factory one and the Brian Crower uh, spring and retainer. The factory ones are really pretty weak in comparison to these, which I can't even really squeeze. I can actually squeeze this one a little bit, so these are definitely stiffer. I just wanted to show you what they look side by side. Alright, there it is. All the valve springs and retainers are officially swapped over. And we did all that without having to remove the cylinder head. Now, in part two of this video, which will be the video coming out after, I will be replacing the camshaft and going through all of that. But I wanted to do it as a separate video. That way, just in case someone out there wanted to know how to replace just the valve springs and retainers, then they would be able to look it up and find this video. So I hope this video has helped someone. Definitely stay tuned to the second video where I replace this camshaft with the Speed Factory Street Savage. But I hope this video helped someone out there that was needing to do this without having to remove the cylinder head. Um, definitely subscribe if you're new here. and Drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of this method. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. We're going to be putting this race cam in next. But as I like to say, God bless. Stay safe. 
stay awesome.